Good morning, people. You know who it is. Our city of Buck reporting live from good old Ayutthaya. Yes, it is Monday, and I am teaching in the north. So, I was just watching a video this morning, and it was interesting because Michael Bernard Beckwood said, success isn't measured by how much money you make, what kind of Louis Vuitton bags you could buy, such as here in Thailand, as they do. Um, it isn't based off what you have achieved. It isn't based off how many letters you have at the end of your name. It isn't based off how many shoe sales you could do as NBA players uh, do. It isn't based off anything that is basically part of the materialistic world. Success is basically what you leave behind, giving. See, that's why I love Tony Robbins. Because Tony Robbins, after all the money he received from, uh, from, from all his books, he literally donates it. And he donates 10% of what he makes all the time. It's about giving. Think about it, guys. Now, I live in Thailand, okay? Thailand probably has the biggest influx of, I guess you could say, high society people. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of high society, high society basically, it revolves around, let's just say... People who literally have so much money. It's kind of like America. They, they normally say upper class. But there isn't much upper class in America unless you're a doctor, a lawyer, functioning, you know, at, you know act, real jobs, okay? But high society here in Thailand revolves around the parents owning some sort of illegal business. Them giving, you know, cutting it off to the police or whoever, the government or whatever. And them just getting by, you know, it, just doing that. So these students, I'm telling you, these students are all, damn near billionaires out here. Just because of the amount of money that mommy makes, right? So the thing is, no one gives here. And this is why this is the most rapidly deteriorating country on the planet. Because not, no one gives to each other. We're not even talking basic cur courtesy. Now, of course, Americans, yeah, I've seen a lot of Americans give other Americans money. Hell, my brother was the first one before I don't know what happened to him. But probably about 10 years ago, I remember we were standing in the line at 7-Eleven and this guy was looking through, his, looking through some change. And my, bro my brother was like, I'm going to give this man a dollar. He went up to the man, gave him a dollar. And the man said, God bless you. See, it's what you give. And so when you leave the body temple of domain. People are going to look at you just like Muhammad Ali. I've already mentioned this before, okay? And they're going to, you have to leave the legacy. So a lot of people say, what's success? Is success having a big house? Success doing this or that? No, success is helping as many people as you possibly can. It could be by words. It could be on YouTube, giving uh, motivational advice. It could be workouts. It could be anything in the world of giving. Okay, because we could give every day. We're talking give a smile. You know, I saw some YouTube videos. One of my students showed me a YouTube video of a homeless man out there in America. And there was a particular kid. He was actually an actor, but he went up to this place and he started saying, give me money and stuff. So everyone started giving him money. And this particular woman, security guard lady, uh, there, was a, oh, there was an older homeless guy who was really homeless and there was a younger kid who was actually an actor, but they were giving money to the kid. So the older guy, the, what, there were like two people that, oh my God, it was terrible. The security guard started hitting this, uh, this homeless man's hat. Uh, and then after that, uh, a particular guy just dumped all his food, all his food on this homeless guy. And I mean, it was just tragic. It was tragic what happened. And the guy started crying. It's crazy because the homeless guy went in. He went to go get washed up. And after that, he, uh, he ended up going into uh, get, get washed up, came back out. And he actually had bought the kid who was actually homeless, but an actor. He bought the kid an actual slice of pizza, an actual slice of pizza. And uh, what was it after? Sorry, one of my students came in uh, and he started crying. He was like, you know, this guy came out, dumped all his food on me. I went to go get washed up. I bought a slice of pizza with the only month, the little money he had, came back out, gave it to the kid who's an actor. Two other people came across the street. He said, did you just buy this kid a pizza? And the homeless guy started crying. 
and they gave him two hundred dollars and oh it was just amazing and it's crazy because they've actually uh they're showing this in Thai so all the rep the writing was in Thai uh and they just reposted on YouTube to show Thailand you know how things should be you know a lot another one was this guy giving another homeless guy a winning lottery ticket and he started crying in the store and Oh, and, it, and, and it's crazy because a lot of people would say, well, money's just a code. You can't just give a homeless guy money. You have to change the mind first. See, if I'm going to do something on YouTube like that, you know, as far as giving money and whatnot and seeing how grateful some homeless people are, I would also give them a book. I would give them a book and say, listen, I don't know what exactly is going on in your head, but if you read this, maybe this could give you some sort of guidance. And that's what I would do. So uh, with that being said, people, I got my students coming in now. So uh, I'll let you guys, uh, I'll let you guys uh, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening from all over. I need to continue what I had already spoken about real soon. So until then, guys, see you soon.